Hello everybody and welcome to my 19th video. This is uh, binary implemented ternary logic circuits. I'll be going through the ternary half adder. So here we have um, the sum and the carry of the half adder, the ternary half adder. Inputs A and B and the cat sum is A plus B modulo 3 and the carry is 1 if and only if a plus b is greater or equal to 3 and 0 otherwise so this is the carry so it's either a 0 or a 1 so the carry is the multiples of 3 and the sum is the multiples of 1 so for example 2 plus 2 is 4 1 times 3 plus 1 is 4 um, I must say um, if you don't understand anything in this video you might want to watch uh, my eighth video which is called uh, a base n ternary uh, a base n half adder and full adder and my fifth video which is called binary implemented ternary logic circuits so let's go on to the design So we're going to look at the carry function. So we have the carry function, inputs A and B, these are ternary um, variables, these are the binary variables. You've got A1 and A2 for A, B1 and B2 for B, um, carry 2 and carry 1. In this case carry 2 is always a 0, carry 1 is a 1 when um, the carry is a ternary logic one these are binary variables binary logic one as i said carry two is always a zero i'm going to use um resistor output network a for the design of this function so a1 and a2 here have the same have a specific coding if a equals a zero a2 equals a zero a1 equals a zero a equals a ternary logic 1, A2 is a 0, and A1 is a binary logic 1. And if A is a 2, A2 is a binary logic 1, and A1 is a binary logic 1. And that continues down, and the same coding is applied to B here. Alright. Well, here we have the Kano map for carry one. Uh, this is we're looping the ones here. This loop is A2 and B1. This loop is A1 and B2. Here we have the can't happen states here where A2 is a 1 and A1 is a 0. Similarly, B2 is a 1 and B1 is a 0 is a can't happen state. So that leaves you with 9 entries in the row of the truth table and the counter map. So carry 1 equals A2 and B1 or A1 and B2 which is the summation of these uh, variables here. So I'm going to use De Morgan's theorem to con transform this AND into a NOR. So I'm using that becomes not A2 NOR not B1 or not A1 NOR not B2. So in the previous uh, true table, carry 2 was always a 0, so carry 2 equals 0. So here this resistor network A, carry 1 feeds the input into carry, and carry 2 is always a 0, so that's connected to 0 volts there. So I have the circuit diagram for the carry function um, here. Uh, this is not A1, not A2, and this is not B1, not B2. These are the NOR functions for the two terms in the counter map. I'm using um, a NOR function as an inverter here to create, uh, give this overall uh, NOR function and I'll make it an OR function. So, and these are the output resistors, 240 ohm resistors, and one of the inputs is connected to zero volts. 
So that's the carry function. Here we have the sum function. Sum equals a plus b modulo 3. So these are the inputs a and b. This is the sum function. These are the ternary variables. These are the binary variables. I'm coding a and b. a1, a2, b1, b2. Same as before. But this time um, the sum 2 and the sum 1 follows a different coding. Um, I'm using Output resistor network B, which you can find in my fifth video um, binary called binary implemented ternary logic circuits. So for a ternary logic zero, sum two is a zero, sum one is a zero. For a ternary logic one, sum two is a zero, sum one is a one, and for a ternary logic two, sum two is a binary logic one, and someone is a don't care state. So that's the code I'm using for these, depending on the ternary variable there. So it can be seen if F2 is a 1 here, which is sum 2, it doesn't matter if F1 is a 0 or a 1, the output will still be uh, a logic 1. Sorry, a ternary logic 2. Right. So this is the counter map for sum 2 and um, we're using um, uh, a product of sums expression so we're looping the zeros so here are the nine entries of the row rows of the truth table these are don't care states as before and this loop here is a2 or b1 this loop here is not a1 or not b2 this loop here is not A2 or not B1, and this loop here is A1 or B2. So sum 2 equals A2 or B1, and not A2 or B, not B1, and A1 or B2, and A1 or not B2. So these, this is the definition of the exclusive all grade in the... Um, product of sums form. So that equals A2 and B1. Similar here, this is the definition of the exclusive all get for A1 and B2 in products, products of sums form. So that, that, that results to A1 exclusive all B2 and this re results to A2 exclusive all B1. I'm going to use De Morgan's theorem to change this AND into a NOR so that equals a2 exclusive no b1 or no a1 exclusive or b2 exclusive no b2 yeah so um the no function here if i complement one of the inputs that is equal to an exclusive no function same here so i'm, I'm complementing b2 here and a2 here to make them into exclusive no functions but with an, using an exclusive or gate. The reason I'm doing that is so I can use six inverters because an, an, an A1 and a B1 requires two inverters but a B1 and A2 only require one. So I can get away with using six inverters in one chip. Right. Here we have sum 1. Um, this is a sum of products expression, looping the 1s here. So here we have the don't care states, of, or can't happen states here, where a2 equals a 1 and a1 equals a 0, b2 equals a 1 and b1 equals a 0. This loop here is a1 and not b1. This loop here is a2 and b2. And this loop here is not A1 and B1. So sum 1 equals not A1 and B1 or A1 and not B1 or A2 and B2. 
Now this is the definition for the exclusive OR gate in some of products form. So I can replace that there. A2 goes to there. And that becomes A1 exclusive score B1 or A2 on B2. Now because these ones are only looped once with this single loop, I can change this OR to an exclusive OR. That means I don't have to provide another chip because I'm using, already using an exclusive OR chip here. And uh, so that is A1 and B1 exclusive OR A2 and B2. And I'm going to use De Morgan's theorem to change um, this AND into a NOR. So that is A1 exclusive OR, B1 exclusive OR, not A2, no, not B2. Again, I'm doing that so I can use six inverters to, to implement these expressions. So sum two here, sum one here with a shocky diode in the um, in series of that resistor, and that's sum one. Sorry, sum, the ternary output. Here we have the sum function circuit diagram. Here this is not a this is A1, this is not A2, this is B1, this is not B2. Um, again, if you don't understand how I'm doing this, please refer to my fifth video, which is called Binary Implemented Ternary Logic Circuits. That'll explain it in more detail. Here we have uh, this is sum two here, and this is sum one here, and the output is combined combined by a two 240 ohm resistors and a diode, a shock diode, to give the ternary output sum. Right, I think that concludes the video. Um, I'd just like to say uh, thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. Bye.